You know what it is. Morning. Morning. We're getting it, son. Change of direction. Multi-direction, Alexander the Great, son. Um, so today is our second high day of the week. This focuses all around change of direction and multi-directional movements. Conversely to day one, where it's all about pure linear speed, uh, this day three, which is high day two, is talking and, and directing about, can we take that maximum linear speed and move it sideways? So our first port of call is um, a more intensive preparation inside using some more ballistic med ball work, a few jumps just to get his body up and, up and ready to go after all of our standard body work. And then we're outside looking at specific signatures for multi-direction. It's not the difference between multi-direction and change of direction as opposed to agility is that we're not putting any real reaction or, or opposition within it. We're trying to teach him to be able to pick the right tools and cover as much ground sideways, backwards, and turn and spin. Uh, so then when he has to apply it, he's more than capable of doing it. So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You got to hit us up to get a pimped out ride. You got to pimp my ride. I put a TV on your player. Damn right. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. So as you're joining us now, we're actually in week 27. To put that in perspective, last year, we only had nearly 16 weeks and that was distorted in between camps and mini camps. So we flew out to America and came back. So 27 weeks of continual training with strategic deloads has allowed this process to be where it is now. From where we started, we had to basically take the approach of rebuilding Alex. We had to build up his capacity to a certain level to unload him, to then rebuild him again. And what people will not tell you is that anytime you reach a certain level of performance, things are likely to go wrong and things have gone wrong. We've had to readdress the process two to three times over this 27 weeks because as soon as he has hit another level of performance, his body started to question it and creaks and, and being a contact sport athlete and a 115 kilo guy who's six foot six and can move incredibly fast, his body starts responding to things. And when you're getting this guy moving close to 10 meters per second, his body is gonna get into shock. So there's been periods of time over the last 27 weeks where we've had to uh, readdress, find different weak links in his armor, and then rebuild those up so he can continue to stay safe and, and healthy. Uh, it's the really most important part of training for me as a coach is to understand that this is going to happen. Nothing's ever gonna be perfect, but it's the relationship between the coach and the athlete that says, if he comes in and, uh, and he's sore, then it's okay. Uh, and if I, if I know that he's sore, then I make my changes, I make my adjustments. And if his body's responding in a way that it's not just sore, it may be painful, then we have that conversation as to why we rebuild, re-strategize, and keep moving forward. You know really pushes me, but also um, has really worked on all the links in my chain. It's a lot of the stuff that maybe got overlooked for a long time, um, we kind of straightened out and I've never felt healthier. You know, I'm bigger than I've ever been, stronger than I've ever been, and faster than I've ever been. Um, and that's just, you know, that's down to, you know, his technical proficiency, um, his programming, and just a lot of hard work from both of us. But the reason I come here is to better myself. Um, and for me, it's, it's doing what others won't, you know, because to get what others can't, you have to do what others won't. Um, and that's, you know, that's what I'm about. That's what Sam's about. Um, and as good as the training is and, and how, we, how much we get after it in the weight room and on the, on the, on the field outside, 
Um, the mental side of it is huge for me as well, and the general energy and the feeling, you know. I feel like we both found each other at a time where things were up in the air for us. You know, I changed sport, he changed uh, coming out of professional, the professional game and going out on his own. Um, and we've really fed off each other's energy in that sense. Um, you know, we're two dreamers that are just trying to achieve all we can and be the best we can be. Um, so that's why I come here, that's why I work with him, um, and that's why, why I think we get such good results. Um, it's just to set us up, you know, what will be will be in the future, but all we can worry about is today, um, and that's what we do. And we just dream and we put everything into action. Um, you know, we have a vision and we, and we put it into action. Uh, day three of the week, we a uh, pretty tasty session. We go outside, we do change direction. So obviously a big speed, explosive, power, emphasis. Um, you know, giving yourself the ability to beat people in a phone box, make people look silly, have guys chasing ghosts. That's what Thursday's all about. Um, so we do that outside. Uh, then we'll come in and we'll lift lower body. Um, again, you know, because of the demands of the game, your know, power and speed are king. Um, so we do a lot of that stuff that represents that in the, in the gym. Today is our second lower body of the week. Um, so the type of work is going to complement from what we did outside. So high force, more slower contraction speed in terms of visual movement, complement the change of direction and stuff. So we've got some force absorption, so reactive work with our trap bar. Um, we have some single leg trap bar deadlift. Heavy overcoming work, really, because it's about beating our body weight, external mass from static points of view, which is where our change of direction comes in. It's good vibes, and I see, I see myself getting better every day, every, every day. Huge buy-in uh, from myself, from him. You know, we've been here for 27 weeks. I haven't missed a single day, you know? No one's paying me to be here. No one's telling me I have to be here. You know, essentially, this is my time off, you know? But I'm here because I want to get better. And I'm here because I know Sam will be able to do that for me and help me get there. Um, and that's really it, you know. It's, it's what we want, we want it, you know, how bad you want it. And you know, I want it pretty fucking bad, so um, that's why I'm here.